This is John Carpenter's theme to Halloween. Let's talk about it. Keith Horns, Court of the Week. 1978's Halloween is one of the greatest horror films ever made, and it has the distinction of being directed and scored by the same person, John Carpenter. Totally multitasking, totally on top of all of it. His non-orchestral, synth-based approach to film scoring has inspired composers for decades. Here's his famous theme to Halloween. We start with this F-sharp fifth that opens up into a minor sixth, and it's over these bass notes. It's very simple. It just lays out F-sharp minor with an added flat sixth. And then the right hand drops a half step, but the left hand does this. So we have a, we have a fourth, and again, this fifth and minor sixth up here, but looking closely, it outlines B flat minor. All right, but it's over its own fifth, and it has an added ninth. If we condense it, we get this, right? Both of these phrases, they appear really simple on the surface, but looking at this F-sharp minor, add flat six, it's kind of an unusual chord, and then it moves to this. So the two chords together, if you condense them, it's really interesting. It's minor with an add flat six, and a minor with an add nine. And the two chords are a major third apart. But with voice leading, you have it like this. So the added notes. So it's a median movement of minor triads with voice leading when you condense it like this with added tones. Now this minor triad with an added flat six, it shows up all over the place in lots of different places. Uh, Stranger Things, for example. Yeah, I know that we start with the C, but he's establishing E minor, or they are establishing uh, Michael Stein and Kyle Dixon. Kyle Dixon, Michael Stein. Yeah. E minor. Right, it still is giving E minor, even though the lowest note is a C. Stranger Things uses that sound. The X Files uses that uses this sound. All right, that's A minor with an added flat six. And James Newton Howard's score to Signs. Same thing, fifth to the flat six to the minor sixth. This minor add flat six sound. It, it's often used to convey uh, a sense of like foreboding mystery. And it's often arpeggiated, so it kind of leaves us hanging, leaves us suspended with that flat six just sort of floating out into some sort of space that's unknown. Unknown. Now you might be thinking, hey, isn't this just a D major seven and first inversion? And yes, it is, but in the case of Halloween, he clearly establishes the F-sharp, that we're in F-sharp minor here. And yes, it's the same four notes as a D major seven, but we don't hear this as the root. We hear this as the root. Even here, we hear this as the root. And we hear the D as, as an added tone to the triad. Now, most chords have been used for psychological effect, either in a concert piece or in, over the last hundred years, we've seen in throughout theater and in, in radio and film and television, chords are used to make us feel a certain way. And this one, uh, at this point, we've been conditioned to think of it as like, an unanswered question to a, a mystery. Uh, it's like, what's out there? It's, a, it's almost like, or like something wicked this way comes. 
and we don't know what it is, but we kind of want to know what it is. We're curious. It's it's uh, it's like foreboding and and curiosity at the same time. Hmm, that's a mystery. Later in Halloween, we hear Laurie's theme. Laurie, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, who may or may not be related to Michael Myers. I don't know. It sounds like this. Now we have a perfect fifth that opens out on the bottom to a minor six. It's the mirror image of And isn't this, isn't this just a nice little lovely theme? Right? It just it doesn't sound as dark as as Michael Myers theme. I mean, if I were to put on the original and just I could harmonize it nicely like this. Isn't that nice? It's so nice to listen to this like oh That's much more terrifying. That's... I don't think we were thinking of that theme in the same way. Anyway, so let's take the Halloween chords through some exercises. The first exercise is to take both chords through the plagal cycle like this. So F sharp add flat six. F sharp minor add flat six to B flat minor add nine. And we'll take it through the plagal cycle. So I'll start in F sharp minor, and then I'll go to D flat minor, and then I'll go to A flat minor, like this. And for the second exercise, I'm just going to play the root in the third of the F sharp minor and then open it up to the fifth and the root of the B flat minor and then the right hand will finish it out like this. So notice how this opens up half steps in either direction. It just opens out from a minor third to a perfect fourth. So we'll do the same thing in the plagal cycle, like this. So the theme from Halloween, even though it's deceptively simple, if you look a little more closely at it, you'll see that it's more interesting than it seems on the surface. So happy Halloween and happy practicing. Yeah. Who this? This be Yo, who this? Yo, who this? Who this?